and good morning from Las Vegas. We have been uh, hanging out on our balcony, having some mimosas this morning. This is day two of our trip here in Las Vegas. We'll be heading home to Los Angeles later this evening. Why don't you come along with us and have some fun today? We are finishing hanging out on our balcony and we are about to go downstairs for some breakfast at a restaurant called Egg Slut. They serve eggs all day long and that sounds really good right now. Uh, it wasn't too late of a night last night. We ended up getting into our hotel room just after midnight, which for Vegas is not bad at all. Plans for today include, we're gonna go explore the pool areas here at the Cosmopolitan. Like I said, we're gonna have that uh, breakfast first, get some eggs in our system. And then beyond the pool exploration, might do uh, a few hands of blackjack. We'll see how I feel. I also gotta get to the sports book and make some wagers on some sporting events. Other than that, we'll see where the day takes us and uh, go from there. The airport is really close to the strip here in Las Vegas. Constantly planes flying by all the time. It's really convenient. You can actually see the air traffic control tower right there in the distance. It made it really easy to get here to the uh, Las Vegas Strip from the airport. We are headed down from the second floor to the first floor. We're gonna actually go to the front desk area and we're gonna do a bag drop so we can get rid of our bags and keep enjoying the day here without having to lug our bags around. Here's the chandelier bar. Taking a look at the egg slut menu here, a variety of sandwiches. Freda was actually looking for like just eggs, but it looks like it's a lot of sandwiches. I'm eyeing up the gacho sandwich right there, seared prime rib and eggs. So basically a steak and egg sandwich. I did go ahead and get the gacho sandwich, which is essentially the steak and egg sandwich on a brioche bun. Breda was able to ask for off menu item, just some scrambled eggs, and they were able to accommodate that. So keep that in mind if you're looking for just some eggs. The gacho sandwich here at Egg Slut is really good. It's, uh, it's like the meat is fantastic. It's really, it's really sensational prime rib that's on here. I would say next time I'm gonna get two eggs. It comes with one fried egg on the sandwich. I would just next time get a second egg or maybe a third egg. Breda, being the wonderful wife that she is, has been adding some of her scrambled eggs on top of my sandwich along the way to uh, further my enjoyment of the sandwich. But overall, I would say it's like a eight and a half out of 10 and really good flavor. I would just like a little bit more egg. It, other than that, it's just, it's really good. It has the arugula on it, it's really tasty. It's a little bit greasy, just, just make sure you get some, uh, some napkins too to uh, clean, up, clean up along the way. But it's really good, I would recommend getting this. A very creative foosball table here on level three at the Cosmopolitan outside of Beauty and Essex. We got Scarpetta over there, we got Beauty and Essex. We have Hey Leo by Jose Andres. All these things are not open right now. It's around 1 p.m. on a Thursday. There's Zuma over there, another restaurant, and Blue Ribbon. We are on our way to check out the pool area. We have arrived at the 14th floor of the Chelsea Tower. This is where the Chelsea Pool is. Right now the Boulevard Pool is closed over in the Boulevard Tower because that's where they had the outdoor skating rink for the holidays. And they're getting rid of the skating rink now, so the Boulevard Pool is closed. We came through the Chelsea Tower, and honestly, Brady and I were saying to each other that, that was like the most non-fun part of the hotel, because there's a whole lot of people, like in like there's a whole like lot of conference rooms, people working on laptops, that sort of thing. 
but here we are at the pool, so this is a lot more fun. One of two pools here, like I said, one is closed currently. There's not too many people hanging out at the pool this time of year because it is about 55 degrees. Looks like a uh, big hot tub over there in the distance. Looks like a fun area to hang out when it's a little bit warmer. This doesn't look open right now, but they have the west bar up here. And then on the other end, they have the east bar. So no shortage of bars out here when they're actually open. Like I said, this is just, this is off season. It's also a weekday. It seems like the pool is heated because there are people in it. So that's nice, but it's just not too much of a scene right now. Weekday during the winter. Also here on the 14th floor is the Sahra Spa Salon. If you're looking to come and get a massage or any luxury items. Also a nice fire pit over there. I'm always a sucker for those. Also here on the 14th floor of the Chelsea Tower is the fitness center. We only stayed here one night tonight at this time. Hopefully if we uh, come back and we stay longer, we'll be able to make it in here for a workout. We have complimentary waters here. We go interested to go to the stretching area. Lots of machines everywhere. We have kettlebells, TV to catch up on uh, your sporting events while you're working out. They do have dumbbells up to 80 pounds. Here at the sports book inside the Cosmopolitan and place some wagers for the upcoming World Series. Put some money on the Blue Jays to win the World Series. Put some money on the Brewers to win the World Series. And put some money on the Rays to win the World Series. So while I obviously would love for the Blue Jays to win the World Series, if either of those other two teams win the World Series, then uh, be a little bit richer. We are back here at the Chandelier Bar on level three, the Cosmopolitan, about to celebrate having just won $500 at the blackjack table. Uh, I was playing, playing at the blackjack table downstairs and, and uh, walked with a good amount of money, so we're here to celebrate. We're gonna have the famous flower drink here at the Chandelier Bar. Never had it before, heard a lot of things about it. I don't remember the technical name. We'll try to get that for you, but we're gonna go ahead and try it out. You're supposed to put the flower in your mouth first and uh, kind of coat your mouth with the flower and then uh, sip the drink. So let's see how it goes. So the flower makes your mouth just like a little numb. Feels like, uh, yeah, just, my tongue's a little numb, inside of my cheeks are a little numb, and uh, it, it's supposed to make you have better clarity on the drink. I don't know. It's, I don't know. Maybe I haven't had enough to drink, but or something. But I mean, it's good. It just tastes like kind of like a regular margarita, right? It just tastes like a it tastes like a regular margarita. But uh, doing the flower thing is just a little. It's kind of gimmicky. See, maybe, maybe gimmicky is a little word. It's a little gimmicky. Kind of jaded because you're from LA. <laughs> yeah, maybe. maybe. But the bottom line is, we're having a great time and we're celebrating winning money. <laughs> the name of the flower drink was the verbena. I'm not sure if we were supposed to eat the flowers or not, but we decided not to. We are back at Teka Bar to get some late lunch before we head out to the airport. We have gone with the foursome, it's $24. You get a salmon hand roll, yellowtail hand roll, bay scallop hand roll, and a Tekka spicy tuna hand roll. And our favorite dipping sauces again, of course. I split the hand rolls in half. The yellowtail was scrumptious, and I am now on to the salmon hand roll. Everything's really fresh. On to the spicy tuna hand roll, and the bay scallop hand roll. It does have some Japanese mayonnaise on it. You know, this whole food court area, this block 16 area, has been a highlight of the trip. There's all these different food choices here. And I am gonna step in here for a coffee before we have to head for the airport. Some coffee to go here from the district.
And we have landed safely back in Los Angeles, Burbank Airport. It's a great airport to fly into. We had a blast in Las Vegas. Glad you could come along for the fun. If you did like the series of videos in Las Vegas, please press that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet subscribed. It really helps grow the channel. And we'll see you again for the next adventure. Take care.